Look at you. I remember 10 years ago when you had to eat Haitian food for the first time. You were struggling and I know that food's spicy. It's a little spicy. <laughs> What are we doing here, Gina? We're at the, it's technically called the Sweet Auburn Market, but it's a municipal market. There's supposed to be some history to this thing. Opened in 1924. They're supposed to be known for their food. And so we're gonna be grabbing some food and uh, just see what this place is all about. What is it? You gotta say it loud, I can't hear you. Oh, we got tacos, Philly cheesesteaks, and the food court. Alright, so we have decided to split as we're walking around what the market looks like a little bit. So I'm going to take two kids, Gina will take two kids. We'll find our favorite restaurants here or whatever the kids that we want to try. Alright, you ready Bubba? Who wants to leave first? So we're gonna follow you. You find a place that you want to order food from, and we're gonna order some food. Okay. Me, Penguin, and Panda will be behind you. When you find the place, we can all pick something from that place or just you pick. Okay. Sound good? Sound good. That's what you want is mango. So you want to find a restaurant with mango? Yes. Okay. We'll see if we can find some mangoes here. Oh look, there's mommy. Hi mom, bye mom. Do you want mommy to choose for you guys? I, I'm fine with you choosing. I would rather you choose, but we gotta make a choice. We can't be forever. Have you found anything that you want? I did see a seafood place. The seafood, did it have cooked seafood? It wasn't cooked seafood, was it? Okay, let's go find it. We're trying to find a restaurant with mango, right? Not just mango that you're gonna cut up yourself. Okay, this is a juicery here. Do you know what a juicery is? Come up here. Look, they've got tropical bowls with pineapple, mango, acai, banana, apple juice, and it's topped with stuff. This, we can look at one other place, but this might be the closest you get to mango. Okay. Okay, are you getting an idea, Panda, what you want to eat while we're looking around? Okay, try to get an idea while we're looking for a badger. Are you sure you know where you're going? Yes. Positive? Yes. I feel like you're walking in circles here. You're not. Are you sure? I'm sure. I promise you guys, she's so fixated on mango, we're going to end up at a fruit stand. Huh? No, cooked, sweetie, cooked. What? We're looking for one of the restaurants. You're wanting to get raw mango yes. at the market. Yes. Mango. How are you going to cut up the mango here? I don't know. Uh, Panda, what do you think? Does this count? No, it does not. Because it's, well... it's already cut up in mango. This is what you're wanting. Mango slices? Yes. That's what you want? Yes. To try? Yes. Okay. Where do we pay for it? Over here at the stand. Got suckered into getting uh, mangoes. I figured. So we already have mangoes and watermelon. Okay, we're following Panda now, he's gonna choose. All right, you lead the way. So at the top you can see like there's a Metro Deli Soul Food, there's an Afro Dish restaurant, there's Tilapia Express. We are going in circles, yeah. There's Philly, uh, Philly and Steaks, there's Tiana Tacos. That's your choice. It's your choice, man. Yeah. Looks like Tiger, what did you choose? Vegan. Vegan. Okay, let's pick something off of this menu. Do you want mommy to help you? Or you think you can choose by yourself? Which one? Avocado toast. Just avocado toast? Yeah. You might want to try something else more than that, too. You can do that, but we can do something more. Color green egg rolls. Oh, I think that's a good choice. I like that. Yeah. Do you want to do pizza? Okay, let's go do pizza. That's a good choice. Oh, it's a cheese pizza. You just want plain cheese or just plain pepperoni? Cheese pizza and pepperoni. Okay. <laughs> Let's do a 10 inch. 
Oh, so we're gonna do a 10 inch, so if your brothers or sisters wanna try it, then you wanna do that. That's good, knuckles. Okay. All right, so this is the Afro, I'll put the African food. Okay. Oh, Are you I thinking like, about this? I like it. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Okay, so Mexican food. What are you feeling more, tacos or a Philly cheesesteak? Huh? Tacos? Okay, we'll get some tacos. Alright, go ahead, buddy. I would like a taco, taco. taco. What kind of tacos, sir? Um, the... I got chicken, steak, or a uh, burrito. Steak. Is there a specific taco you guys are known for? Yes, uh, it's our birria taco. Which one? Our birria taco. The, the, the third one? Or the second one? Okay. Can I get two of those? Can you get me a potato? Yeah, I can. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you hungry? He wants your food. No, you have to wait. You think there's going to be better than the ones you get with Grandpa? Uh, I don't know. Don't know? I guess we're going to find out, huh? So Tiger and Cow finally picked what they wanted. So I'm going to see if I can find anything. I'm feeling like I want to try some Asian food. I saw some um, places over there. So I'm gonna go check them out and then um, hopefully I find something so we'll, we can all sit down and try. How's it taste? It tastes like natural Sprite. Yeah. Natural Sprite? Yeah, it does. Too much. It is really good. Actually, it tastes good. I actually like that one. Mm -hmm. What's it? What's it? When is it? The lime? Yeah, this is the wine flavor. Say hello. Most bad. Are you ready to eat? Ready to eat? So I'll walk you guys through everything we ended up getting. So we got pizza from Pie Square. From Pie Square, we've got lo fruit from like the local store here. We've got two different types of tacos: steak taco and a garilla taco. This is the taco they're supposed to be famous for from Tijuana Tacos. It's baked chicken with sweet potatoes and okra. Uh, and it's from the Soul Food Place. I don't remember the name. I'll put it on the screen when I can remember it. This is from Afro Food, I think is what it's called. Uh, it's African cuisine. We got plantain, spinach, jerk chicken, and uh, rice and beans. Badger wanted chicken patties as well. Tiger got um, collard egg rolls. And these are all vegan. And then we have sweet potatoes, and then we also have uh, avocado toast. Drew? <laughs> Alrighty, what did you get? So I got rice and greens from the African cuisine store. Plantain, jerk chicken, and spinach. Wasn't it Afro and Caribbean? Um, it pretty much is, but the sign just said like African cuisine. So I got a patty as well, a beef patty. And then I got a uh, tropical juice, pineapple guava. Oh, that which one's is really good. <laughs> I don't know if you taste it or not, but it's really good. I'm really happy with it. It's, I think it's really good. Look at you. I remember 10 years ago when you had to eat Haitian food for the first time. You were struggling, and I know that food's spicy. It's a little spicy. <laughs> so my nose is starting to gonna run a little bit. <laughs> The market is actually a little bit smaller than I thought. I, there's a, I don't know, it's still a like big market. There's like several shops here, but I thought like, maybe because I'm used to walking so much, everything's so close here, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. Panda, you ended up getting tacos. How did you think? What did you think about it? It was really, 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 really good. What would you rate it? If you were going to go four, I would probably rate like a nine point nine. Oh, that's high. <laughs> The beef though, the steak tacos are would rate an eight. Okay. Tiger, you got avocado toast. Yes, it's delicious. It was delicious. What would you rate it? A nine. A nine. <laughs> Is that good? Is it delicious? What would you rate it? <laughs> I'll give that a 10. All right, Cal, sweetie, how was your food? You're eating some watermelon now. The pizza was pizza. pretty good. Mm -hmm. What did you think? What would you rate it? 10. 10. 
Well, actually a nine. A nine? Why what is that? What did you get back? What did they do to you? And I got it on camera too. <laughs> so I did a little bit of research and I learned that the market opened in 1915. Mm -hmm. uh, and then around 1950s is when they changed the name. Yeah. But at one point the market had almost 40 stalls. So right, a little. Yeah, right now it has about 20 stalls. Also double so this. at one point the market was like double this size and uh, it was really important to the African American community in Atlanta because it allowed farmers to go straight to the consumer. They didn't have to go to the supermarkets if they didn't. So during segregation when black people weren't allowed in certain stores, right, they could come here to like the farmer's market get direct from the farmers and that. Like, they said it in a way, I have to research a little more, but they almost said it in a way like it wasn't as segregated or it was more beneficial to be at the farmer's market during segregation because you have more like products or options for products. Looks like they have caramel, cheesy, triple buffalo, white cheddar. Cattle corn? That's cheese. You like cheese popcorn? Yeah. I didn't know that. Remember? Oh, you probably don't remember because it was a really, really long time ago. Oh, I definitely don't. Remember? We like cheese popcorn. Remember? Was that cotton candy? Yeah, she guilted me with her braces. <laughs> I was like, no, only popcorn. And she's like, I can't have my braces. Aww. <laughs> so she got Georgia peach. The rest are banana. <laughs> Be careful, Drew. 